John Seidel here from Trucking Wins. Trucking just got over the 72-hour CVSA truck check. What is that? That's where law enforcement schedules extra people, gives them a little bit of overtime, and they really go out and do a lot of inspections. What do they do the rest of the year? They still do inspections and place us out of service and hurt our CSA scores. They just don't do quite as many. But what does that mean? As a trucking company, we should treat every day like truck check. It should be 365-day truck check, not 72-hour truck check. So what did they do? Here's the data part of it. They did 58,000 total inspections, of which 83% of those were level 1s and 2s. A 1 is where they walk around and check everything, including driver paperwork, and they crawl under the truck. A level 2 is just like a level 1, except they leave the creeper in the vehicle, and they never crawl under the truck. So what was the focus of this truck check? Brakes, lights, and tires. Of all the vehicles placed out of service, meaning every out of service condition that occurred where they shut these trucks down at the scale and they had to hire people to come out and fix the truck at the site, which what? Delays the load, costs more money, and adds CSA points for being out of service. 37% of those placed out of service were brake violations, all right? 18% were tires. Lights were 12, cargo 11, and other was 22%. So. What was the majority of the out of service? BLTs, brakes, lights, tires, not bacon, lettuce, and tomato. However, if you want to be a healthy trucking company, you should do pre-trips and you should focus on brakes, lights, tires. If you want to be a healthy person, you should eat some bacon, lettuce, and tomato, right? So it can help you in two facets of your life. So when I say out of service, what do I mean? Here's what I mean. These two books. This book is the green regulation book. It means you need to make sure you have zero violations across brakes, lights, and tires. Once you're in violation, you drop that book as an inspector and you grab this one. Now this is from 2019 because this website right here sells this book. It's a nonprofit organization. In order to get this book, you gotta go there and buy it. It ain't free. This is free online, but this nonprofit organization makes you as a trucker go buy this book and it comes out every April. What is this book? This book decides when something's out of service. So this book says the majority of brakes that are out of service are push rod travel. Come to truckingwinds.com. I have a video on how to measure and how to check push rod travel. If you have too much push rod travel, depending on what percentage of brakes and which brakes are in violation, they place you out of service for push rod. What's another major brake out of service? Chafing hoses. CVSA has something called Operational Policy 15. Google it. It actually tells you when chafing hoses are out of service or not. This is the kind of thing that you need to know. Knowledge is power. Tires. What's the major tire out of service? Flat tire. When's a tire flat? I'll tell you this. This just says you can't have a flat tire. This book says when it's less than 50% of what's marked on the sidewall, it's flat and it's out of service. So a lot of these tires were this book saying that you had less than 50% of what's marked on the sidewall. Lights. Are all lights out of service? No, not all lights. Only the lights that this book says are out of service. What's the number one? Turn signals on a trailer, bolt brake lights on a trailer, headlights during hours of darkness. You're missing one ID lamp or a clearance light, they're not gonna place you out of service because this book says you're not out of service. Cargo, hazmat, no relative motion. All okay. right, general freight. You can have relative motion as long as it doesn't adversely affect the maneuverability and stability of the vehicle. So general freight, you can't have it shift or fall off and it can shift as long as it doesn't affect the maneuverability or stability. Now, what other cargo? If you're a flatbed carrier, you got a whole lot more to worry about because cargo for flatbeds falls within your maintenance CSA score. If you're a van hauler, you have an advantage over a flatbed. Why? Because the inspector can't see the freight. They can see the freight on a flatbed. And other, what other violations am I talking about? Go get this book from this website and read it. Now, I also have a training video on the CVSA out of service criteria, trucking wins. Come check us out. We can't wait to see you there. Thank you.